G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, if you have ever wanted to know how you can configure the uh, SharePoint news web part to be more dynamic and show content based on metadata, this is the video for you. Now, this came from a question uh, from the newsletter. Now, first of all, if you're not subscribed to the newsletter, head over to danielanderson.io or uh, hit the link under my profile up there here on LinkedIn to subscribe to the newsletter and you too could have your questions answered uh, in video format because I can guarantee you if you've got the question, somebody else will too, and we can help everybody in the process. So dynamically showing content through the news web part, that's what we're going to take a look at here using metadata. So we can see on the homepage here, we're on a SharePoint communication site. I've got a uh, out of the box news web part set up on the page. I'll just pop this page into edit mode. Let's have a look at the properties of this, uh, this web part. So we're getting the news news from this site. So this is the site uh, as the source. We're displaying it in the top story um, format there and we've just got uh, the default settings there. Now the section we're going to have a look at here is the filtering options. Now because I have got the source set to this site, I can use the page properties uh, option here to filter and dynamically display content through the news web part based on one of the properties. Now I have a property that's called document category. So if I look at, uh, and what we'll do is we'll just go into the site contents and we'll have a look at the pages library and the setup of the pages library. What we've got in the site collection, so at the site collection level, we've created a site column and we've added that site column uh, to the pages library. So we create a new news article um, and then we set the metadata or in this case, the document category. So we can see here that I've got document category added to the site pages library. And if I have a look at the pages here, I've got a few different uh, options or pages that have been published with different categories. So if we jump back to the web part, I can say um, filter and only display uh, items in the news web part where the document category equals guide. So we'll pop that in there. And then what will happen is if a uh, a news article it has got the, uh, the metadata guide, then that will display there. Now you can see there, there's nothing that has no news article that has been tagged with guide. Now there are other pages in there, but we're not using pages. We're using this automatically grabs the news articles, uh, which are a little bit different than that of normal SharePoint pages. So if we have a look here, uh, we've got this one here, what's new in Copilot in Teams, and that's an FAQ. I know that's a news article, so I'm going to say, let's show the FAQ. So anything that's tagged with FAQ, we are going to show. Now let's have a look here as well, um, and we've got navigating your SharePoint. Let's have a look and see if we've got any policies. So if it equals FAQs or policy, then it's going to display through that news web part there. And I can republish the page, and then I've got a dynamically um, a, dis a dynamic display of content coming through the news web part. Publish a news article, tag it, and that will display if it's been selected. Now, what's interesting to note here with the news web part is if I go and change the news source and I go all sites in this hub, what we'll see is that the filtering, we don't have the ability to, to, to choose the page properties because we surfacing content from lots of different um, site pages libraries in inside of our hub. So in that case, what we need to do is we need to use what we call manage properties. So if I select manage properties, then I can choose uh, a manage property if it's been set up and we'll go through and have a look at how we set up a manage property here in just a second. But if um, that then, if that, um, that, let's say that site column, so the document category, if we had that site column um, created uh, and added to the site pages library of multiple sites, then we create what we call a site, uh, a managed property. 
in the SharePoint Admin Center, and then we can use that to then dynamically show the news through the news web part. So if I jump up to the, uh, I'm in the SharePoint Admin Center here, and if I open up the search schema, then we can use the, uh, and use one of the refinable strings, and we can add our crawl property. So in this case, that document category property, and we can map that to what we call a, uh, a managed property. And in our case, it's gonna be a refinable string. So I'm just going to find uh, these blank refinable strings. These are there for you to use for this particular purpose. So it's just gonna find it here, and I'm just gonna use this refinable string. And you can see the properties of this refinable string here. I'm gonna open up the property, and then what we can do is we can go down to our mappings and we can add what we call a mapping. Now in this case, what we do wanna do is we want to find the document category, uh, document category uh, crawled property because that gets crawled, it gets indexed, but we wanna map that to a managed property so that we can use that in dynamically showing our content. So we'll choose a uh, document category and then we will click OK. Now it's gonna take a little bit of time. I'm just gonna go ahead and re-index our, uh, our site and our library and let's just uh, populate this refinable string and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at what that setting is in the news web part. So while we're waiting for that managed property to get indexed and uh, ready to use, let's have a look at some of the other dynamic properties that we can use when we've got our all sites in the hub selected. So we can see that we do have the managed property, but we can also filter on keywords. So let's say we wanted to show anything, any news article that has the word teams in the title. We could say title includes the words team. So that means that anything with teams in the title will get displayed dynamically through this web part. We've also got recently added, We've also got recently changed. Uh, we've also got created by where we can select a specific user. Again, anytime that user publishes a news article that will get displayed through there. Also modified by and manage property. So if I jump back up to here and we go SharePoint for the title includes, that's going to dynamically show any news article that has SharePoint in the title. So there's a couple of different options there that we can use to dynamically show content through the news web part. The last one we're gonna take a look at is that managed property. All right, so now if we select manage property, we can start to type in the manage property name that we mapped before. So we can see um, I am going to choose refinable string 00 is what we uh, what we chose before uh, and what we mapped to that document category. I'm gonna say if uh, refinable string 00 equals FAQ, then show me all of those articles. And you see there, I've got that one navigating your SharePoint site that has been tagged with FAQ. And now what will happen now that uh, that's dynamic, then if we add that site column or that column to uh, the other site pages in other sites and we keep it nice and consistent, that will then aggregate because we've chosen all the sites in the hub, that will then aggregate all the news articles that have been tagged with FAQ in that particular web part. All right, so there's a few ways there that the news web part can be used to dynamically show content on your pages. And remembering we can have different instances of that news web part on a single page. So you can really start to think about creating and crafting some dynamic pages based on certain bits of metadata or even titles of news articles as well. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching the dynamic nature of the news web part.